special guest tonight is driver Marlon Eish. And Marlon, thanks for being here. You're going to be part of a continuing series on young drivers. So can you tell the fans how old you are? Uh, I'll be 28 years old. Uh -huh, same age as I am, huh? <laughs> yeah. Now, how long have you been driving? Uh, a little over four years now. Uh huh. And now you told me an interesting story that Laverne Hostetler is your uncle and he got you involved in the business. Yeah, I happened to be talking to him one day and he was needing a groom, so that's... He asked me if I'd come to work for him and uh, I told him that I would, so I kind of give it a start that way and I, mm -hmm. that's how now, I got in it. Now, where are you from? Uh, Shipshawana. Shipshawana, and you're from Amish country. I'm from Amish country. <laughs> now, what was it like growing up there? Uh, it's a little different than being around here. It's quite a bit different. Uh -huh. Is your lifestyle like completely different? Or? Completely different. Uh -huh. It's absolutely different than this. I mean, except for horses. You got horses. That's how I got to liking horses and everything. Uh huh. And what are some? Are there anything? Is there anything about your Amish life that you wish that you still, you, you know, were a part of that you miss? Oh yeah, there's there's a lot of things. You know, you grow up. You know, you know, you grow up around this environment and everything. And, uh, you know, you miss being home and everything, but I like it being up here, too. It's quite a bit different. Uh-huh. Now, you spent the winter away from the fans training down in Florida. What was that experience like for you? Uh, it's real beautiful down there. They got a real nice training center down there. And it was the first time I was down. I went down with one of my friends with some horses. And uh, I don't know. It's completely different. There's no racing at night. You do all training in the daytime. And uh, I just took a couple of babies down there, and I got a real nice two-year-old trotting filly uh -huh. that I brought back. I worked her in 18 today, last quarter on 31 seconds. She's training really super. I'll be looking forward to racing her here. And what's that filly's name so the fans can be watching for? Uh, Filky's final. And you really should have, that's a horse that you have a lot of promise for. I really like her, yeah. If nothing goes wrong leg-wise and everything, I think she'll be racing in a couple of months. Now, what's, what's your future like? I mean, how do you see things for, for you? You're a young man, and you have a long... Uh, a career ahead of you. What are some of the things or some of the goals that you have set for yourself? Well, just be competitive racing under Chicago. I, I really like being around these guys up here. You learn you learn something new every night up here, and uh, I really like it up here. It's a challenge. And what's the most important lesson that you've learned, do you think? <laughs> I, don't, I can't really say. It's just it's tough racing, but I like it. Mm -hmm. Well, good. Thanks for being with us, Marlon, and we'll watch for you and, um, and your nice filly there. Yeah, I hope so. I hope circle? you'll be seeing her. Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> and we'll be back right after this.